Hi, today I'll be teaching you how to make a simple program in Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition. Right now, I'll teach you how to make a GUI for an area calculator. A GUI stands for Graphic User Interface, and that is what the user sees, enters information, and the computer uses that information and calculates whatever it needs to do. So, the first thing we want to do is add labels so the person knows what to enter where. Over here we have common controls. These are all things that will that can be placed onto your GUI and each of them have their own set of properties. Find the label and click it. Come over to your form 1 and just drag it. Doesn't matter how big it is cuz it'll auto size. Now select it and go down to your properties window right here. Now you can scroll. These are all properties of this one label. They're in their own category accessibility appearance behavior da data design focus layout so the main two properties we want to focus on are text and name let's go up to text this is what the user will see on the GUI text since we're making an area calculator let's call it length you just want to hit enter. If you go back to your GUI, you'll see that it has changed to length. So now let's go back down to our properties window and find name. The computer doesn't know what length is, so we have to give it a specific name so the computer knows what it is. All common controls, everything that goes on in your GUI should have a name, a proper assigned name most likely you'll find on most programs they have a prefix like LBL for label or BT for button RB, RAD for radio button, it doesn't matter but we'll name this LBL length so the computer knows what it is and hit enter we won't see that on the GUI because the user doesn't need anything to do with the calculations they just need to enter the, u the data and the computer just computes that data so now we need one one label for width. So let's come over here, find label, select it, and just drag it. And width, well not width, label one should come up again. Now you gotta make sure it's selected because as you can see I can select three other things. Form, length, and label one. You wanna select label one, come over here. Go find text and you want you can highlight that and text can we can call it width so let's scroll down find name and let's call it LBL width most labels won't really need a name since the computer isn't going to change up the name so now we have width and length we can align it as you can see with the blue lines to whatever other properties are in a horizontal view or a vertical view not diagonal as you can see we can align it to the left to the right and later on when we add text boxes and all that we can align that with the label it, it, it's corresponding to now you can edit it all you want Make it look like, oops. <laughs> just hit delete so you edited your labels we need another label for our final uh, product which we will call area so let's make one let's save some room for another for something else come over here and cha let's change the name first change the name to LBL area now that's done scroll up find text highlight that and change it to width hit enter oh whoops not with <laughs> area area since that is what we need at the end area now we can align area to the right with it and if any extras come up just simply go to your keyboard and hit delete now we have all of the labels we need we need text boxes in which the user can enter the information so come over here and let's select text box text box will always have a defined height 
so you can't so no matter how big you make it it'll always come out to a specific size you can edit the length all you want so let's just make it like that I mean we don't need it that big now we know it's not gonna be that now we know the form isn't gonna be that big let's go back that's why it's happening pointer always like pointer if you're not using any other <coughs> GUI whatever so now you have a text box this is where you enter information for anything uh, in calculator it's a text box is where all your information pops up for any other program that's where you will type in information data whatever now you want to make another one you want to go down here find text box and do that I'm gonna name it all later cause text boxes are a little different we need one more text box for area so let's find another text box and align it with our other text box it just makes it look better you don't want it like over here when the rest of your text box boxes are over here you don't want it down here you want it nice and even so now we have three text boxes let's edit this size now we have three text boxes right so what we can do sorry we can do is now name each one we don't want any text because we don't want any text to show up inside our text boxes so we go back over here we have our length text box selected come over here find one find the property for name as you can see it's text box one you want to change that up let's just call it txt for the prefix so we can find it easily in our code length hit enter and that'll be the name let's go back over here to our GUI find width and change its name to txt width and finally come over to our GUI select oops, select this area text box come down to our properties window go to name type in txt area so now we have our GUI set up almost we have what are we going to calculate with we don't have a button or anything let's just add that come over here find button and just make a button whatever size you want I'll have it like that or maybe like that and let's put the name as CMD calculate and the name will be calculate itself calculate there we go now as you can see the name has changed right here it's called calculate now in the form in the coding to get to the code window simply double click on whatever property it is and it'll form uh, create a private sub a private sub is something where the code will happen only if that thing on the GUI has been selected like this if something if someone types something in here to, to let the computer know that it has to do something you have to double click it and enter your code into this private sub